don't miss out on what the Lord is doing in this season. The old garment has to change. The Lord needs to do something new in your life. You're accessing higher rooms. Don't be left behind. You might be with a friend you studied with or you're in the same ministry with that person or you work at the same place and all of a sudden you see their business change. All of a sudden you see this person's status has changed. They are doing things on another dimension. Very simple. By the time they were sowing their seeds of prayer, fasting and praying, you are saying, how come you've lost weight? By the time they were saying, you know what? I am tired. I spent the night praying. You are asking them, why are you wasting time praying? Why are you wasting time shouting? There is something that is being done in the room of the spirit and don't be left behind. Remember the wise virgins? What did they do? They simply stored oil in their lamps. Some of you are out there in a season where you're supposed to be sowing or maybe sowing prayer or storing oil in your lamp. You're just there playing. You're just there sleeping. While others are awake, while others are their guard post, you are sleeping. So awake before it's too late. Awake before you are left behind. Because God does not want any person to be left behind. Take some time in the presence of God. One other thing about fasting. Remember in Luke 4 when Jesus was fasting. Fasting simply empowered him for what was coming. Fasting is one of the fastest ways of getting more power. God was preparing him for what was coming. Fasting was for him, killing the flesh. So your fasting is enlarging your capacity to be able to receive more power in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Beautiful Ashes with Stella Azamadia. Rescuing an endangered generation.